Hey folks, it's Frank, the character, giving you another review. Busy week this week. Got another San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. It is Thundercats Classics Lionel, the Toys R Us slash Comic-Con uh, 2011, San Diego Comic-Con uh, exclusive. Um, love it. Love the box art. Nicely done. Um, nothing special, though, on the inside you know, except for Lionel, like you would think they'd probably do a uh, a diorama or something like that. Um, simply, once you took him out, uh, you know, you got these great guys. But like I said, the way it came in is this. Just simple, you know, you can see it's molded to the body and all the pieces. It's pretty much it, just slid right out of the box. But, um, yeah, not too bad. Um, give you a comparison for Lionel. Uh, he is eight inches tall. Compare it to Superman. Give you an idea there. Uh, compare it to, let's just say, one of the larger Collect Connects, Gorilla Grodd. Pretty much at the same size. So, yeah. Too bad. Um, good size. <coughs> a lot of uh, points of articulation. You've got the head movement, 360. Um, when you get yours, if you can hear that, you know, the movement. It's, I guess, when they put it all together, the paint was still drying. So, you know, turn it there. If it's not moving, you know, just give it a little tug. But keep in mind, you know, it's probably with the paint and everything. You've got bending there. Got a lot of movement on the hand. It turns, twists, all that good stuff. Um, he turns here on the leg, bends two point right there. And also, what's great is, you know, he's got the left and right motion on this. Um, paint application, <coughs> if you can see, probably not that well. Um, you know, okay, it's got like paint mark there on the cheek got a little thing right there I'm like it's okay it's good I like the metallic finish on here um, I guess it's supposed to look like he's been fighting or dirty or whatever but you know little pieces there a couple of gripes is you would think you know where the joints are they would have that painted or on the feet that connection piece would be blue. Just, just little things. You know, I'm, I'm still, I still like this figure a lot. It's really, really cool. But little, little things here and there. Uh, no hole on the bottom. I don't know if I mentioned that. So there's nothing like I could peg into. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm put him this way. You get him out. Feels really well. Um, in the box, you get large sort of omens with the logo on both sides. Um, be careful where you rest it because it looks like there's some overspray when it was in the plastic. So just be careful when you lay it down. Putting, you know, put it somewhere. I just tilt it up like that. Um, sort of moments with the eye. Both sides. Great job. You got the claw here and this piece which serves as um, there's a whole port in the bottom where with that piece there, and I'll show that later, you can actually clip it on the side of Lionel. You see that, that little square hole right there, so it'll hang off of there. Also, another great thing is you can actually put the sword there, just to show you, there's a little slit right there. So you can actually put that there it's perfectly and then I'll put this on this plastic don't go like this actually take the time you know when you first when you're getting used to the toy and everything like on uh, you know you don't want to bend it or break it I just do it on there just like a little twisty pushing motion you don't want to press it <coughs> down too much and then it busts um, then the way I put it on is First, take Lionel's arm, lift it up, and then put my finger there, put it on the side, and then he holds 
goes into place. So, and there you have that. Hinders a little bit, you know, it's, it's right there. It may occasionally pop out or something, but once you got have the idea of how the figure is, you could pose it. Um, the other thing is, and it would be nice if they gave you two, but they don't. Um, they only give you, let me see where it is, here we go. They give you one grabbing. And this is actually came in a small little bag like this in the big bag that had the whole you know, storage display piece. And basically what you do is, <coughs> what I usually do is, see, just pops right off. Then strain it out and you go do this again. You can see how you know, just be careful. Just there we go. Right in. And then the sword. And you know the hands, they open up a little bit. The thumb has the main movement. So probably like push it back just a little bit, give it some time. Well, you put this in, and then strain him out. Again, you could. There you go. Too bad. Give me sight beyond sight. Well, that sounded more like Tigra. Sorry about that. I have a cold. But I I like this. This is this was done really, really well. And it holds in like that. Too bad. Really, really like this. It works on the other hand, because when he has the Sword of Omens, pop that off pop this hand off and then take that this again pops right off now putting this on you know it's got the same hole there but just center it just right and you won't hear a pop but you'll, you'll feel the click go in there we go and then, got the full claw. Not too bad. And even though it's one and the same sword, what you can also do is, while you had it sitting on his side there, let's just say he doesn't have the sword, full extended, you can actually still fit this right in there. So I like it. Very, very cool. Bring this back. Put that back on. Put this hand back on. Again, be careful when you're doing it. There. Just take really good care. It's definitely a collector item because it's meant for people not kids in reference to this because I'm going to have things breaking off left and right on these hands and you're going to be having a lot of upset people. So please take care of putting these things, the hands back on. Um, getting to now the display piece, very simple. These, if you can see this, winds up like that. The inside piece, you're going to go like this. That goes like that. Very simple. No clicking. Just pops right in. Then you go like this. Like that. And then you have the tray, which actually fits oops, the camera oh, between my knees here. So this goes like this. 
that's it. Just not a lot of force goes right in. Now what they say to do is, let me clean this off. Get a little fingerprints off. Definitely picks up a lot of fingerprints, and probably chipping now that I dropped it. Actually fits just like that. And then they say you can do the sword, the the non-extended one. Leave it like this, or you could put a display like this. I prefer to actually have it in here, and then you display the claw like so. Of course, my friends, you or have the claw hanging off of Lino. Lino! So, um, then you've got the extra, or I should say, the hold hand. Um, nothing in the back for it that's pretty much the back. Nothing really major there. But I honestly don't know <coughs> if the stand comes with the regular version that goes for $17.99. 15, 17, 18, who knows how the prices are going on these things. Um, this, of course, you can put back in the hole there. I need to uh, keep this in. That's actually the train going by. Um, you do have also the instructions that came with it that shows you how to do everything. And, of course, they have it, like I said, put it like that. Um, all in all, I really like the figure. I'll be honest with you, I've never had a Lion O. Uh, I've had a Lionel train set, but I've never had a Lion O. So I know, I know, I'm 38 years old and I'm slacking. Um, please, for He Man, I only had He Man and Manny Faces. Those are the only ones I had. And um, my big thing was Transformers G.I. Joe. Uh, but this Lion O, first Lion O, and I love it. This is, this is truly. A great looking figure. Again, they could have done with the spots there, painting it also blue or using blue parts. Um, if you notice on the paint apps, I guess it's supposed to look dirty, a little greenish. Eh, I don't know. Um, also, around here, if you guys get yours, there was actually a scratch mark here. I actually had some silver. Uh, actually, for my Monte Carlo, uh, the Galaxy Silver. So I used that. actually worked really well. Touched that right up. Uh, accent's pretty cool, but, you know, little blotchy pieces, I guess that's how it's supposed to look, but other than that, great figure, great job, um, definitely I advise you guys getting him, if you can get the San Diego Comic Con, so you can get this display, um, again, I don't know if the display comes with the regular ones, but if it's not, this is a definite plus, um, a little disappointed that it isn't like an open box thing, or there's a display in the background, with like maybe uh, you know the cat's lair uh, in the background or something like that, but um, this is a good start. I like this figure a lot. Um, enjoy, folks. Definitely try to get it. Um, as always, buy toys, have fun. Life's too short. You're always a kid, no matter what age you are. Take care, folks. Be well. Bye. Thundercats. Ho.